Hey guys, in this video we are going to look at software.io and why it's quite often more comfortable and a better use of using one Airtable base instead of several bases. And if you use one Airtable base, we're just gonna use filters to make like the view more easy and to not overcomplicate things. So yeah. What is what are arguments for using this method? So the first argument and reason is if you use one base instead of several bases, you get a way nicer UI for your consumers which are using your software page. For example, as you can see here, this is a list view. And if you open this page and um, whoever visits this page can just click on what are his or her interests, what type of um, property they're interested in, and then they get the filter view. If we do not have all of those different properties in the same base, we can't use those filters because it's two different bases and then we have one base up here and the other one would be below here. And this would be quite confusing for people which are always using the website. This is one of the reasons why it's way better to use one base with different views instead of using a lot of bases for each property. Another reason is you can link within the Airtable database between different properties. For example, we can see here, this is Canva, we all know Canva. And I wrote a blog post, which is called the Ultimate SaaS Marketing Stack, which mentions Canva. As we can see here, the blog post is linked to Canva, to the tool. Why is this? If you now visit the page and click on this post and it loads, then we can see that below the post, there's a section mentioned in this section and Canva was mentioned. This is because we linked Canva and the article in our databases. So another reason why you should put all of those properties in one base is that you can link them quite easy. If you're on a free plan, this is the only way you can link um, properties in Airtable. If you're on a paid plan, you can link between bases. So this is not that much of an issue for you. But if you're on the free Airtable plan, then you only can link within one base. And then this is kind of necessary to do to put them in one base. And the final argument is that you can use filters to have different views of your Airtable database. So right now, this is kind of confusing because it's the all base I'm using. And you can see no matter whether it's a tool or a tutorial or an example, they are in one base and in one table, which could be kind of um, yeah annoying. This is why I added views. The views is just filled up by tech. So now we have a few of just all properties which have the tech tool. And you can create as many views as you want. So by doing so, you have this kind of clearer vision of how your database looks like, but it's still the same base. So yeah, are there any arguments which are against using one base? Absolutely. So one reason is if you're on the free plan, you can with Airtable, you only have 1000 rows per base. So if you completely finish it and you get to the 1000, you have to open, create a new base and then you do not have one base anymore. Another reason is if you're on the free plan, you only can have one gigabyte of um, data per base. So if you upload a lot of pictures, I mean, we have here some images and then maybe your base is full at one point at a time and then you have to create another one. So yeah, keep in mind the 1000 rows rule and the one um, gigabyte maximum upload capacity. But yeah, keeping those in mind and all the other stuff I just told you, I think it's still quite good and easy to stick with one base because as mentioned before, you can link them the fewest way more comfortable 
and it also creates a way more satisfying experience for your customers or users. Thank you so much.